And on campaign 2016, just a block from the Charleston church where a gunman killed nine people in June, the Democratic presidential candidates clashed on gun control and other issues in the last debate before the Iowa caucuses. CBS 4's Weijia Zhang has a story from Charleston. Under fire from Hillary Clinton for changing his position on immunity of gun manufacturers, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders shot back at his opponent. I think Secretary Clinton knows that what she says is very disingenuous. Sanders said he has a D-minus report card from the NRA, but Clinton says he's voted numerous times with the gun lobby. He voted to let guns go onto Amtrak, guns go into national parks. He voted against doing research to figure out how we can save lives. Former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley accused both Clinton and Sanders of being inconsistent when it came to gun control. I'm the one candidate on this stage that actually brought people together to pass comprehensive gun safety legislation. The candidates fiercely debated who do the best job reigning in Wall Street. You've received over $600,000 in speaking fees from Goldman Sachs in one year. You do not go as far as reigning in Wall Street as I would. I have a plan that most commentators have said is tougher, more effective, and more comprehensive. Sanders is leading in the New Hampshire polls, and he's tied with Clinton in Iowa. But a new poll gives Clinton a big edge over the Vermont senator nationwide. When this campaign began, she was 50 points ahead of me. We were all of three percentage points. All three candidates are looking for a spark before the Iowa caucuses on February 1st. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Charleston. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of campaign 2016 now through Election Day.